Dan Wonderland, Public Insurance Adjuster with Gavnet and Associates. Today we're out here with Casey from Arco Exteriors. How are we doing, Casey? Doing well. Good. So we're out here looking at a siding situation today from an insurance claim. Uh, why don't you explain what we're looking at today? So we had some hail damage to the siding. Uh, we pulled a piece, sent it off to ITEL. Uh, ITEL is a siding, or is a building material identification service, service. So we sent it off. They came back with a discontinued product. Okay. Uh, the product is uh, Amcraft, which has been out of business for a while. We have a similar match here. We're going to see what it looks like. Okay, so what we run into, they call Minnesota a matching state. And what that really means is when an appraisal panel looks at um, building materials and like kind and quality when they do a replacement, does, is there a detriment or a loss in value because of the color on a building material or a roof or siding? And, and Minnesota has determined it is with Cedar Bluffs versus American Family. That's a Minnesota support, uh, Supreme Court ruling. So now that we've got the sample that's the best matching availability for this discontinued siding, we're going to put it up against there and see if we feel this is a what we call a reasonable match, which is how the Supreme Court determined it. So if three of us look at this and we all say, yep, this is a match, then this would be a, a, a piece of siding we could go back with for repairs. But if it's not, then we would be owe, they would owe for a full replacement on the entire home because there's not a reasonable match. So let's take a look and see what we've got. So it's not only the color, but it's also the profile. So in my opinion, this color does not match that. Casey, what do you think? Yeah, it's, I don't even think it's close. It's quite quite a few shades different. Uh, also, I can see the texture of the, the panel itself is not even close to what is existing. Right, so in this situation, we would call this an unreasonable match, or no match. So we would go back to the carrier and say we do not have a match. Therefore, we are writing this insurance estimate up for a full replacement.